Greetings everyone and thank you for joining. In this tutorial we're going to build an event based schedule that's going to monitor for a file change and if the file has been modified it's going to execute an already existing schedule. So let's get started. Select event based schedule from our list of possible schedules and then we're going to name the schedule. Describe it to make it easier to identify, and then keywords if necessary. Click Next. You can select All to have it go run for all of the different conditions that you created, or you can select any, and any of the conditions that you create will allow the schedule to execute. Let's select All. You have a number of conditions that you can use in which to execute the schedule. In this case, we'll say if a file has been modified. We'll name the condition, and then we can decide whether it's true or false. If it's false, that means that the file is, if the file is not present, then we will execute the schedule. If it's true, meaning that the file is present, then we will execute the schedule. Select true. And then simply browse the particular file that you want to monitor. Once your condition is complete, click OK. OK. So now that we've set up our condition, you can add as any number of conditions that you require as well. And once you're satisfied, you just click next. In this section, you have to decide whether you're going to execute a new report from your system, an already existing schedule you created previously, or do nothing at all and do a custom task instead. Well, in this case, we'll do existing schedules. Simply browse through and pick the particular schedule that you want to execute. And just keep doing that for all the schedules you want to add. Once you're satisfied with all the schedules, just click Next. You can use exception handling to determine how often a schedule will need to re-execute and the intervals between. And using hours of operation, you can decide what particular time frame that you want the schedule to be monitoring for those files. Next, you can create any number of custom tasks that you can have execute off the back of this schedule. You can find out more about custom tasks from our custom task tutorial. Click Next. Now you can decide the execution flow. You can have a schedule run first and then a custom task or have the custom task run first and then the schedule. Once you're satisfied with your schedule overall, just click finish. So then you'll notice within your particular folder my schedule is located here. If I right click on it I can access the properties to make changes if necessary. I can disable it so it will no longer monitor for file changes or I can execute it on demand. Excellent! So what we've done is we've set up an event based schedule that's going to monitor for file changes and if that file has been modified we'll execute a number of schedules. Thank you very much for joining.